Testimony resumed today in the hush money criminal trial of former President Trump. First thing this morning, the judge held Trump in contempt of court for online posts that the judge said violated his limited gag order. Trump was fined $9,000 total and warned if it continues, he could end up in jail. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor at the courthouse now with what happened today. Alice. Well, those posts were removed by this afternoon's deadline. Eric Trump was in the courtroom today to support his father. So, too, was the Texas Attorney General. Three witnesses took the stand. Gary Farrell, the former exec at now shuttered First Republic Bank, testified Michael Cohen was his client. Everything was urgent with Michael Cohen, he told the court, as emails and other documents were displayed from October 2016, days before the presidential election. Cohen, then Trump's former personal attorney, Farrow explained, opened a bank account for a new corporation called Essential Consultants LLC, with Cohen, he says, drawing down on his home equity line of credit to fund the account. A wire transfer of $130,000 to Stormy Daniels attorney Keith Davidson was also displayed, with its purpose written by Cohen as retainer. Banks, Farrow explained, have to approve the wire transfer. When asked if Farrell was told it was for a payment made on behalf of a political candidate to buy a media story or to pay an adult film star, Farrow said no. All would have triggered further due diligence and the possibility of delaying the payment or blocking it. Keith Davidson, a lawyer who represented both adult film star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal, took the stand, both alleged to have had affairs with Trump. Texts were displayed between Davidson and the editor-in-chief of the National Enquirer, Dylan Howard. Davidson said the National Enquirer did not make an offer for McDougal's story until he told them ABC was interested. Howard texted Davidson, get me a price on McDougal, all in. Davidson says McDougal did not want to tell her story and ABC would have required her to. She took the National Enquirer deal for a $150,000 plus promises of magazine covers and columns. Last week, Trump's longtime friend, the publisher of the tabloid, said the agreement was written up to disguise the true nature of the payment, that it was to buy her story and not publish it, to protect Trump's campaign, he believed. When AMI didn't close the deal with Daniels to buy her story in 2016, Davidson said Michael Cohen stepped into AMI's shoes. When prosecutors asked, did you know that in dealing with Cohen you were dealing with Trump? Davidson told the court, I never thought otherwise. This is a disgraceful case. Trump has pleaded not guilty to the charges. He denies the allegations of both of those affairs. There's no court tomorrow. It'll be back in session on Thursday. Live outside of Manhattan Criminal Court, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.